And we're back. It's amazing how fast a week can pass on YouTube, isn't it? Uh, it's been a week since we put the rocks in the fine grit, and they are probably ready to move on to the next stage. Uh, the fine grit and the rough grit are generally characterized as the shaping stages, where we've ground them down, made them smooth, tried to get all the rough edges off, all that. And what we're moving into now is the polishing stages. This is where we're going to make them look like they're wet all the time, even when they're not wet. Okay. Uh, got to check them out again, just like we did before. You probably noticed I got the bucket in the sink again, um, because we don't want any of this stuff going down my drain, because it would clog up my drain. Here are our rocks and the ceramic media that we put in with them. Okay. Let's rinse them off and see what we got. Right now it looks like we got a lot of ceramic media. They look very nice and shiny. The next two stages should not really change their shape much. It's not it's it's not going to grind them down like the other stages did. It's just putting the polish on them. Um, the word I was looking for in the last video when I was talking about the grit is abrasiveness. The first stage was 60 to 90. The second stage was 120 to 220. So the higher the number, the less abrasive. The pre-polished stage, I, I'm not exactly sure, but it's either 500 or 600. And then the polish stage is like a thousand. So it actually looks more like powder than, than sand when you put that in on that last stage. Okay. Rocks look pretty good. Still a little bit of still a little bit of grit um, sludge on them. Rinse them off a little more. It's a little hard to rinse them off in the sink, but uh, if I go outside, I've got tractor trailers coming by on the state route that's right in front of my house. All right. Uh, now we're going to check them out, see if we got any, any major um, cracks or crevices or anything like that on them. color in this batch. There's that one that had that little ridge on it. It's still there. Well, I said in the last video that we were going to do a um, burnishing on this stage, so I think that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to try to rinse them off a little more, make sure I get all the grit off of them. And I'm going to clean out the barrel. And burnishing is basically just we're going to wash them off really well. You can see what we're going to do is we're going to put them back into the barrel with some basic ivory soap with no, no perfume, no moisturizer, or anything like that and we're going to run them for about 15-20 minutes to make sure they're just really good and cleaned off. This is where it's starting to get very very important that there's no cross contamination. Uh, if you look you can see there is still grit in this barrel. I'm going to have to clean that off better before we can do this. Okay, I'm going to clean it off the best I can. We'll burnish them and then we'll move them on to the next step. In the interest of time, I jumped ahead a little bit. I cleaned the barrel out, cleaned the rocks off a little more, and I've put them back into the barrel. This is the barrel that they just came out of, because the key is we're trying to get all this fine grit off, 
And if I do that in the new barrel, then I'm putting it into the new barrel. So we're going to burnish these before we uh, put them into the new barrel. When I do this, I put probably a little more water than I do with the regular, but you're still not completely filling it up. So if you look, I've got the water probably just, well, it's hard to see on there, but a little bit over where the rocks are. Okay, this is a, well, what used to be a bar of ivory soap, just plain regular ivory soap, no perfume, no nothing. And I'm just going to shave some of it right into here using a cheese cutter or a potato peeler however you want to look at it and there's no scientific uh, explanation for how much I put in I just try to put a decent amount in so I can get it all over the side of the barrel probably good. I'm going to try and get that off of there before I put it in. Okay, try to get as much of that off as we can. I don't think it will hurt anything. I don't like to have grit in there because I don't want it to wear at my lid. But the soap's not going to wear at my lid. Alright, so we'll pop the lid back on. The other lid back on. And the top. And I'm going to tumble it for about 15 20 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll take a look at them again. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. It's amazing how fast time goes on YouTube, doesn't it? Isn't it? Um, I'm going to take the rocks out of the burnish, see if we've cleaned them up like we had hoped. It's usually pretty op easy to open these. If you look, we got a lot of foam, which with the soap, that's expected. Um, it's got a little bit of gray to it, which, uh, you know, it started out white, so we probably got a little bit of dirt off of these. Now, as I told you before, um, these rocks are not going to go into the next stage in this barrel. I'm done with this barrel. Now we're going to move on to the pre-polished barrel. I'll clean that out a little later. Now we're just going to rinse the soap off of them best we can. Move them on to the next to the last stage. I need to put some kind of hose on this sink. Make it a little bit easier. I really do think this batch is coming out pretty well. I think we're going to be happy with our results. That's about good. All right, now we'll put them back in the barrel or the next barrel and move on to the next to the last stage. Um, I did learn something this week. I, I saw a YouTube video or, or actually a Facebook post where they said that you should not use metal strainers when you're doing this. Now you probably noticed mine is metal. Um, Theoretically, it could scratch the rocks. I have not run into that yet. Um, I do have a plastic strainer. The problem is that the smaller ceramic media, like right there, would go through my smaller uh, plastic uh, strainer. So that would be a problem. Uh, and mean I'd have to get them out of the bucket if I clean them off inside or I have to get them out of the gravel if I do it outside and I really don't want to do that so until I have a problem I'm probably just going to keep using my metal colanders 
Um, the rocks I've been tumbling, it has not been a problem. I'm thinking if you if you use if you tumbled rocks that the, their softness that they were a lot softer than what I'm tumbling, then it probably could be a problem. Uh, but it hasn't been a problem yet. Also, uh, in most of the videos, uh, you may have seen this pad of paper. I wanted to mention that. Um, what I do is every time I put uh, rocks in a tumbler, I write down the date, the day, the time, which tumbler I put it in, and what I put in. So right now I'm going to write down July 9th, 2018, uh, 4 10 p.m., three pound tumbler pre polish, because that's what we're going to do. Uh, it, you, when you first start out, you don't think like this, but I'll tell you, right now I'm running two three-pound barrels on my smaller tumbler, a 12-pound barrel on a bigger tumbler, and I have a vibratory tumbler. So I actually could have four tumblers running at the same time, and I would forget what I had in which, which barrel. And when you open it up, it, 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 you know, you can look at it, but it's all gray sludge usually, so it would be kind of hard to... Uh, figure out that way what you're doing. With my smaller barrels I do have them labeled so usually I could figure it out that way but it, I find it's easier. It helps me just to write it down. Okay this is the pre-polish powder um, and it is you know it's that's basically it looks like a powder. It's kind of chalky to look at. Um, I'm going to put six tablespoons of it in, so three of my little scoop. Okay, and then we put in the water, just up to the level of the rocks, but not really completely covering them. Okay. Polish. Okay. Put the lid down. Oops. Put the washer on. Put my lid down. And I'll see you in a week.